hello friends welcome back to another video on android development in this video we will learn how we can create custom layout alert dialog when you click on create alert custom layout alert dialog will show you can see here is the image and input field and save button so let's create first of all we will create custom layout so right click on this layout new layout source file and here you can type your name let's say i type custom layout dialog and select relative layout and click on ok now go to the text and here you can add your image let's say i select image view match parent height should be let's say i select 200 dp and select the source you can select any source but i have already pasted this image you can see here now add tribal image and scale type let's say i select center crop and now give the id image view and now select the input field let's say edit text that is match parent and wrap content sorry for that it's not match parent app content and let's say i give the hint hint enter your text now give the id let's say i type input and it should be below of this image view okay now we will add a button so add button that is match parent wrap content and give the text let's say I type submit now again it is below of this input field okay now give the id let's say ptm submit okay now go to the main activity where we have created the alert dialog method after click on that button first remove all the methods that we have created in the previous video no need of this string now first initialize the buttons and input field let's say i select edit text and give the name input and a button now btn submit now first we create the layout inflator and layout inflator is equal to this dot get layout inflator and we will access that view so create the object of view is equal to layout inflator dot from or you can call inflate method now here first parameter is r dot layout dot custom layout dialog and the second parameter is the view root so we will pass null and that's it now here we access that view now call the method builder dot set view 
and pass the view object. Now close the method. Now first run the application. Okay, now click on create alert. Here you can see. Now we will remove this text or you can say title or you can select it into center and access that data that we will type in input field and also we will access that button in our method so let's create it so we will initialize that button and input field so here we will access that input field so we will initialize it view dot find view by id or dot id dot input because our input field is available on dialog you can see here so that is the reason i call this view method now btn submit is equal to view dot find view by id R dot id dot btn submit okay now we will access that input field data so create the string type variable let's say i type string data now input field dot get text dot to string and now btn submit dot set on click listener new on click listener okay now here we will show a toast message you can any other method or you can perform any other task now i will pass that data okay now remove this title that is created here there is no need of this one okay now run the application again let's click on create alert here you can see our alert dialog is available now let's type something here now click on submit here is the problem let me check why it's not showing here so okay okay reason is that we have to get that data in over function that is click listener so just cut it from here and paste it here now run the application again now click on create alert and let's type something here and click on submit now here you can see hello world is available on the toast message so in this way you can create custom layout alert dialog and also you can access that data on that alert dialog so see you in next video